Hello and welcome to the very first episode of The Rabbit Channel. I'm your host, The Irish Rabbit, and in our first episode we're going to be talking about Jack Thompson. Now I should probably explain what this video is going to be about. Uh, I'm sure, as you all know, Jack Thompson is a campaigner against video games and violent entertainment in general. And the point of this video is just going to be to try and dispel some of the myths that he has lying around. So let's get right into it. So Jack Thompson could very well be one of the most hated people in North America, if not the entire world. Certainly among gamers, he is the Antichrist, and for good reason too. He's taken it upon himself to personally attack almost every popular video game available, even going back as far as Doom. Remember Doom on the Super Nintendo? However, as a gamer myself, I've noticed that whenever people try to attack him, we tend to get so infuriated at his ignorance that we end up not having any effect at all. So I'm just tired of Jack Thompson, and I'm tired of all the other anti-game activists and people too ignorant to try and understand the game from a gamer's point of view. I mean, okay, maybe this video won't make any kind of a difference, but if it helps tip the scale in our favor just a little bit in an argument or a debate, that I'll be glad. And that's just the point of this video, and hopefully the others that will follow it. I'm just trying to dispose of the lies and the stupid comments made from this, our most hated of all enemies, Jack Thompson. But there'll be more videos to come about other people, but we'll worry about that later. So all the things that I'll be quoting from Jack Thompson are actually from interviews that he's done on the TV. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can find, not maybe not all of them, but you can find most of them here on YouTube. So the first point here is actually a quote that he made. Uh, that says, the FBI found that the most common denominator for shootings prior to Columbine was that the perpetrator was immersed in incredibly violent entertainment, most notable video games. Now, the first thing that's wrong with the statement is the fact itself. The report stated that of the 14 incidents included, there was a fascination with violence-filled entertainment. It doesn't state anywhere in the report that there was even a mention of video games. And even more damning is the fact that there were 27 other traits among the suspects. That's 28 total things all the shooters had in common, and only one made reference to entertainment. And that wasn't even specifically about video games. Now, the second thing that's wrong, and is just highly suspicious, is the fact that the report is only subject to shootings prior to Columbine. And Columbine was on the 20th of April 1999. I mean, PS2 wasn't even available until the 4th of March 2000, and that was the Japanese release date. Also, because Columbine took place on uh, April 20th, 1999, it completely destroys any theory of Counter-Strike as the murder simulator, as Thompson likes to call it, since the original Half-Life mod only came out two months previous to the assault. Now, I doubt anybody, especially Klebold and Harris, which were the Columbine shooters, by the way, I doubt that anyone could actually become such an ace at Counter-Strike even in those two months. I mean, the fact that he's actually trying to liken it to a real-life simulator is just crazy. So, I'm just kind of jumping around points here. Um, if people want more videos, I'll be happy to make them, but I'm just kind of going through a few points. I've got hundreds, literally hundreds of points about Jack Thompson, but these are just a few things that he's talked about almost in every interview that he's done. So the second point uh, is Thompson, uh, he likes to claim that the perpetrators of these crimes use video games to help get their heart rate down to rehearse for the killings. And I remember he said this a lot during the Virginia Tech shootings. And it's really tricky to try and destroy this fact, only because the only evidence that I could find to suggest this was actually said by Thompson himself on MSNBC with Chris Matthews. There's no reports on the internet, at least publicly available, that can make head or tail of this. So for the moment, it's unfortunately up in the air. But don't worry, I'll do more research and I'll nail him on this fact too. I mean, it just sounds too crazy to be true. Like, I know people can lower their heart rate, I've seen it done before, but from playing a video game, it just sounds too unbelievable. Uh, Thompson also loves to claim that Super Columbine Massacre is a quote-unquote training game or murder simulator. And this, again, this idea is just ridiculous. Unbelievably ridiculous. I mean, look at it. Come on, it looks like Pokemon on the Game Boy. Remember that? I mean, that was a great game. I mean, it's a generic and altogether crap game made with RPG Maker. It's turn-based, for God's sake. I mean, nothing more needs to be said. The very fact that this game lacks an aiming reticule completely removes it from any kind of training genre possible. It's just ridiculous. I can't even believe he would try that. 
Okay, now on to two of my favorites. This is the last two for this video anyway. Okay, Doom. Now, this is not only a favorite of Jack Thompson's, but of nearly every anti-game activist I've ever met. And one of the huge things against gamers here is the fact that one of the shooters in the Columbine Massacre, I can't remember if it was Klebold or Harris, it was probably Klebold because he did make levels for the game. But um, either way, it was one of them who said that uh, uh, when they were planning the Columbine Massacre, they said that it was going to be so awesome like Doom. Now, I'd imagine if he hadn't actually said that, the game would never have been mentioned. And for, That's just for one reason. I mean, look at it. Even in 1999, classifying this as a murder simulator is pretty ridiculous. I mean, don't get me wrong, Doom is a great game. It rocks then, and it totally rocks now. It ain't got shit on games of today, of course, but it's still fun as hell. Um, but unfortunately, trying to get around the fact that they did mention the game in the basement tapes, which were their suicide tapes for those of you that don't know, is pretty hard. A US judge said that the makers couldn't foresee that their product would cause a massacre, and on that grounds the case was dismissed. Which, I don't know, you can kind of make your own decision about that. Technically that sh could be said of all violent entertainment, which is good for us and bad for them, but I don't know, it's kind of a moot point. But in my opinion, I don't see how anyone could train in Doom. I mean, it's not realistic at all, and as far as I can remember, you can't look up or down because of the engine restrictions. I could be wrong there. If anybody would like to leave a comment just clearing that up, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that was the Super Nintendo version, but I'm not sure. Leave a comment anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, now to my absolute favorite point of all. Thompson has said this in pretty much every interview I've ever seen him in. Well, he always quotes the, uh, the APA, which is the American Psychological Association. It's his most overused piece of info, and it's the best weapon in his arsenal. It's incredibly hard to get around as well. I mean, just listen to what it says. The American Psychological Association in August of 2005 issued a blockbuster report which says that there's a direct causal link between interactive gameplay of violent games and real world increased aggression and violence in adolescents and teenagers. I mean, come on, these guys are professional psychologists or psychiatrists or whatever. But of course, there is one great thing in our favor. And that is that Jack Thompson is completely lying. That's right. What he just said is a complete lie. Dorothy Singer, who's a Yale University professor, said that uh, sh uh, she actually co-chaired the study. She was uh, in charge of it. She actually said that uh, these that these claims of the APA finding a direct causal link between games and actual violence are wrong and misinterpreting the statement. The results were actually correlational, which ultimately means nothing. It's like saying A is related to B, and causal states that A is B. I mean, the study simply showed that violent people like violent images, and there's really no big surprise there. I'm sure fat people like images of food. Duh. Anyway, that just rounds up a few of these points here that I made on Jack Thompson. I've got lots more. If people want to see more or want me to make more videos, which I'm going to be doing anyway so that you can't really stop me. But um, uh, I have so many points on Jack Thompson and I'm going to be using all of them uh, over the course of... So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, like I said before, I've got lots of stuff on Jack Thompson if this video catches on. Uh, leave comments and subscribe. I plan on making more vids on uh, other activists that I like I said earlier I mean Hillary Clinton this does mean you and I'm also going to be talking about the Fox News scandal and the whole Mass Effect sex thing so I know that's already been done to death but I just want to completely clear it up and actually get to the bottom of what this psychologist was having to say now for these for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about just type in Fox News Mass Effect on YouTube there's quite a lot of videos about it uh, so stay tuned to the rabbit channel for more information I'll be making a lot more videos um, I might even do some reviews as well you never know so like I said comment subscribe request things uh, I'll do what I can uh, thanks for watching this is the Irish rabbit the rabbit channel signing off